everybody, on this episode of The Word Made Fresh, we're going on a run. I'm Reverend Jim Key, Digital Minister at the Riverside Church, and this is The Word Made Fresh, the weekly video Bible study sermon prep resource, and let's be honest right now, it's really just a big Lenten resource to help you in your faith formation and to create space for online conversation around God's spirituality, the Bible, all that good stuff. So, I'm on a run right now, and I'm going to keep running, but this episode is uh, it's a throwback to last season of Be Still and Go, for two reasons. One, uh, episode 18, 19 of season three, one of those two, uh, I made an episode called Running Through Lent. It's all about running and Lent, and since this is the season of Lent, and I'm running, I figured... I would just play this episode for you. Also, confession, it's because I'm kind of swamped right now editing current episodes of Be Still and Go, Meditations for the Movement, our daily devotional podcast, which you're all listening to, right? You can go to our website, listen right here at this link, or just open your phone and search for Be Still and Go in your favorite podcast app and hit subscribe. And then boom, all this to say, enjoy this throwback episode from last season about running and Lent, and I hope it inspires you to enter Lent a little more intentionally maybe even go on a run. And uh, speaking of going on a run, I'm gonna go on a run. Okay, here we go. I'm a runner. Whenever I visit a new city, one of the first things I do is go on a long run. I'll often wake up early, check my phone for a nearby park or long, interrupted path, and then head out and hit the ground running. Now, most of the time I'm up early enough that the trails and sidewalks are quiet, but every once in a while I come across another like-minded individual who's up early with their running shoes on. It's usually little more than a glance and a nod, but the connection is undeniable. We're both scratching the same itch to get out, to move, to run. Running is a very individual act. It's just me and my legs, one foot in front of the other. But these occasional moments when I pass another runner, I realize that it is never just me. It's all of us. My feet following where someone else's have gone before and my feet paving the way for those who will come after me. And in this way, running is like the season of Lent, a season that invites you to feel your feet on the ground, the dirt, the dust, and enter this labyrinth, remembering that from dust we came and to dust we will return. The invitation is yours to respond to, but as you do, you will quickly discover that you do not enter this season alone. With every step, we remember the runners before us and the runners behind us, the echo of their steps, proclaiming that the steadfast love of God endures forever. We are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. May we run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Amen. Just finished my run, got a nice long run in on this Saturday, 15 weeks of my marathon. But enough of that, what did you think of uh, the episode? Running, Lent, leave your thoughts on what it means to enter into the Lenten season in a comment below. How do you know that you're not alone? How do you remind others that you're with them? All right, see you next week.